I want you to close your eyes. Now, imagine a life without obstacles, fear, or motivation. A life that has nothing to overcome with. Sounds boring, isn't it? Now, imagine a life that is full of challenges, where you need to push your own limits, overcome your fears, and fight for your beliefs. You can open your eyes now. December 11, 1997. I am on my way to achieving happiness by the goals I have set before me. I am on my way to the path of my dreams that I felt I had held back for so long. If everyone shares a fragment of fulfillment, this shall be the last one for me. My name is Anjani. I have been suffering from short-term memory loss ever since. Well, I can't remember. Every time I get out of bed, the next day it feels like I lose pieces of the previous day. I'm boarding a train today and will be arriving at 2.15 p.m. to the second station. The gates will open there. The reason for this adventure I'm setting is to live up to my dreams as a photographer that captures each piece of moving reality that will live forever in a timeless shot. Before I really forget everything, the doctor has just diagnosed me, warning that I have three weeks before I lose my memory completely. It's terrifying to imagine I will forget everything. My pet cat, my home, the song I hum, and even my own identity. It is December 12, 1997. You are on your way to fulfill your dream as a photographer and writer. The feelings you feel will take you to the highest point, to wherever you wish to venture. Every day, I would write down what happened in my journal. I've written a sign on the cover to remind me to read it the first thing in the morning. And every day, I would see different things and encounter new sights.
food is running low. Water should last for about two days. I fear that I cannot hold on for much longer. What if I won't make it and it is all for nothing? The wind grows stronger day after day. In times like this, there is only the wind that is pushing me beyond my limits. Not until we are lost, then we begin to find ourselves. This is fucking right. December. Now it's December. I have three more weeks. I'll forget myself anywhere. What's her? Why does it even fucking matter? But this place is pretty though. Honestly, don't even mind dying here. I'm inside the tent. Under the pouring rain, falling wind, and raging thunder. Here I am. Cold. Lonely and afraid. I'm starting to doubt myself. I am no longer sure if I can continue or be able to survive. I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Maybe this is just a dream. The man who should have stayed by your side till you have grown old enough to see me away. Anjani, I am your father. I should have been there for you. Words cannot describe how sorry I am and that I will never forgive myself for what I have caused. I live with a void in my heart every day. Sometimes I dare not think about you for the pain is just too great to carry. You don't have to forgive me. I love you so much, Anjani. You've grown up so fast, you look exactly like your mother. The world will push us hard, but it is up to us to push the world back harder. Don't ever give up on anything you set your heart to, or our hearts bleed in pain for what we yearn for. Remember, the only obstacle that can stop you, Anjani, is your own self. You cannot stay here for long. I wish I could spend more time with you. Right now, you must wake yourself before you face ultimate death. (sighs) 
When I woke up, for a second, I thought I was already dead, but I'm alive. So I got up and started to walk, but I remembered, yes, I remembered why I was there, why I came here, and where I must go. I remembered that I was carrying my father's ashes. I remembered him and that song he hummed to me. I was no longer lonely or afraid. And I realized how I've never been myself in my own life. And so I continued my journey and made it to the peak of the mountain. As I spread my father's ashes, watching it drifting away with the wind, I was in awe of what I've experienced. I finally see how small I was in this big but beautiful world. I felt the comfort and warmth in nature. I saw hope within the sunlight. I heard muses within the wind. I wish to be able to explore every inch of this world and fly freely. It will be easier to fly if we had wings. At that moment, I felt wild, fearless, and free. <laughs>